Okay, I'm gonna start. Okay, this toolbox I'm intending for my upholstery tools. Um, and I've laid out how the tools will fit, but the, it's not all permanently attached. Um, the box originally was one of those sets, or I mean a container for one of those sets that had like paints and markers here in trays, and I took those out. It has these uh, ribbon pulls to open the layer trays. And then this is the top, which will fold over this side when this is closed. But what I want to do is put something here so that when I, when I close it, this will be held in somehow. So I'm going to try and figure that out. But also, Um, you see here, this is unfinished, this edge, whereas on the bottom, it has the same finish as the rest of the box. So I just want to get that painted. And then these, uh, it's like a fleece, like a felty fleece. I want to glue those in. I've already pre-cut them. So first I'm going to take the tool out. I get out somewhere else. And here's a lot of needles and stuff. That's also why I wanted a toolbox for these. Um, there's a lot of pointy tools. <laughs> I think I just heard something falling here. I'll find it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of needles involved and sharp tools, so I don't want just like uh, an open bin type of toolbox where I reach in and like stick myself on something. You know, see, you have some tools of sharp edges. Knives. Balls, regulators, stuff like that. Just gonna wet this a little bit. Just make sure. I'm pretty sure that I cleaned this some, but while I was planning, the box was just, you know, sitting around. So I'll just kind of wipe it down again. Just a small bit. You can see the there's old glue in there that's that's not going to come off and this is just like you can hear it's like thin maybe mdf type products um, 
also, anything that you have like uh, around upholstery, it gets really dusty from when you have like just like the fibers when you cut things like cotton or fabric. There's like a lot of particles that go into the air. California compliant, but I'm gonna, I'm not in California. I'm just gonna remove that sticker. I mean, I'm guessing that's there for when you, you know, when you purchase or resell it. I'm gonna get uh, another tool to, to scrape that off. Like the paper is coming off, but there's like a adhesive layer. But I think some, uh, you know, there's different names, like brand names, you know, like uh, something that there's products that remove sticky residue. I might, I might try that. I probably need some more towels at some point. Yeah, let me try something just like. There's some oil in it first. Also, just the abrasiveness of the product. And I'm not, I'm not going to be painting the outside. Oh yeah, it's getting it off. I'm not going to be painting this outside. I'm just going to keep it how it is. I mean, it's just a functional box. I'm just going to make the inside look pretty because I don't know. It's my full box. <laughs> I want it to look pretty when I'm left. I might touch up some scratches, but I don't know. Also, like, you know, if your toolbox shows wear, that would be, um, I mean, that would be typical. That's normal. It shows that you worked with it. Yeah, the hinges look good. I 
like going out of frame. I'm still learning how to do the live streaming and videos, to be honest. I mean, I'm sure that's apparent. But, yeah, so I mean, I know, I know the crafts, but I'm not used to, to making the videos yet. Just make sure the workspace is kind of cleaned up. I see some old splatter on the floor from when I did another project, but it's fine. do is I just want to get these edges painted and I already got out some some colors there's like a I mean this is an old uh, I mean it's called it's like from MJ designs when we used to have that in this area it's still good the paint is still good it's just this is a really old bottle but their color was called Tapestry Wine. I've used this for like a lot of projects and it's still, I mean, just like small projects. And this is just black. Craft Smart, that's from um, Michaels, I believe. That, I mean, that's probably where I got it. Um, I had this like issue with another project. When you have a red tone and then you put red next to it, sometimes the two reds don't match and then it looks like you tried to match them but you didn't so it looks kind of fail but I don't know if I want like the stripe of black because already I'm going to use this red with a different red so I've you know I'll experiment I guess okay so I have a, a tray or a palette um, I have some water. Yeah, these are just craft, like water-based like craft paints, obviously. I mean, maybe obviously. Um, let's see what size brushes do we got. Um, I know this one loses bristles. I should probably get rid of some of them. This is a good one. It seems like just around the right size cover. Just gonna get wet a little bit. Get some paint mixed. See how it just looks with the the wine color. This might be a little too like magenta y. Which I like that color. Let me put this next to it. I might want to just go with like a that when you add black, you don't need a lot. It makes it super dark. Off.
then more of like a, a browny color. Yeah, I'll just go with that for now. Roll of towels. Water. There was like some over, over paint that I got there. Okay. Good, good, good. I'm going to keep these, um, these ribbon poles, so I'm going to try and paint around them. I mean, I could unstaple them and restaple, but they have like a very small type of staple in there. I don't know, I'm just... I want to customize my toolbox, but I don't want to spend, you know, I don't want to put like inefficient amount of effort into it. I'm just gonna like this edge.
Okay, so this is what not to do. I pretty much used up the paint amount that I mixed, and there's a little bit more to go, so let's see if I can do it again. I do this all the time. It's like, you know, and I remix my same color. This looks close to the edge, but oh, that's a lot darker. Now I'm going to have extra paint. Pretty close, maybe a bit darker, but um, we'll just use these of this. Paint around the pool. I'm gonna wipe the edge. That's been dry. What can I work on while that's dry? Um, put the brush in water. Or scrape out some of the paint. Put in water. Um, let's uh, 
there's a, a rough spot here. I just have sand, sandpaper, or rough, like a scrap wrapped around. Well, this has lost its grit. This was a uh, sanding pad. Like I don't, I don't care that there's worn parts, well, worn parts or scuffs. But what I don't want is, you know, like, like uh, splinters or you know. Also, the bottom looks pretty, well, the bottom didn't need painting, so I'm going to put the fabric in the bottom with some glue, put this aside, put this away. Oh, this is some ribbon I have to make more pulls or if I need it. Um, oh, the glue is still here. Okay, I have some varieties of glue. I consider it also Mod Podge, but I'm going to try the glue. Okay, so here's an assortment of brushes. This one is pretty bad. Mm. I'll try this one. This is just a an old can that I mix glue. <laughs>
I can see here it's not sticking to that one spot where the old adhesive is. Probably that was like maybe silicone based adhesive. And this is you no know, a water based white glue. But that old adhesive is tacky enough that that part is still going to hold and the rest of the glue, especially around the edges, should hold the fabric. I mean, a fancier way to do it would also be to have a cardboard panel that's the exact shape of the bottom, wrap the fabric on that like upholstery style, and then put the whole panel in. Um, that's how like some jewelry boxes are done, uh, but yeah, no, uh, that's not, let me see, this, this was the top side, so that's the one with the needles. And so I'm gonna position. Oh, I have a um, lint remover brush. That's, I don't put that in the upholstery toolbox, but it is very useful for when you work with um, crafts that have fabric. You know, you can just get all the dirt out. over here and see if this helps it at all. Just rolling some pressure on there. It might make it worse. Okay, well that's that needs time to dry to make sure it's gonna work. But um it looks it looks pretty good. Um, so now I can do, I'm going to flip it around. So this is the top. This is the bottom side. I'm going to flip it around again to work on it. And I will over the tray onto that side. There's some glue still in my can. I think I dropped glue somewhere. Hey, that won't work. You don't want glue on the top of the fan. Okay, 
should be just put this here. <laughs> well, There's already now a couple of fibers stuck to that, where that old adhesive is tacking. And I know I wiped it down, but it just didn't, didn't get everything because it was tacky. Um, I need more of the glue a little bit more. Some water on the brush. making sure I get it into the corners but also I just want it overall kind of coated. Also there's some spots that I don't know how you how to describe it. Like uh, uh, you might be able to see it here. I don't know if you can see but there's a rougher texture so that's where when I pulled out the old there's like a plastic tray this is the tacky old adhesive, but here the adhesive pulled some of the board with it. So it's a, uh, oops, that, that's not good. I just got paint on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, there's these rough spots, but the glue will, will seal that in. So it's not, you know, the damage. And then the fabric will cover it. It's fine. Okay, that's glue enough. I'm going to here. I'll use the new. Get some water and just like make sure I don't have like glue on this underside. on okay I need this is the other side bottom which is this piece to go a bit room yeah I don't I'm kind of I think I might be out of frame here but there's not Maybe I don't have the best setup, but okay. So now I'm gonna place this one in. Just kind of doing that thing where I kind of like wiggle it around a bit to make sure it's getting the corners and the edges. Some of these I might not have cut exact, exact, but 
I can trim excess after it's all set up if I need be. Because it looks like on just a few of these, I wasn't sure. But. I don't know. A lot of what I do is like learning as I go. That's, that's a lot of what it is. Okay. Uh, what next? Uh, this paint is dry to touch. It's going to need a second coat, it looks like. Also, I, I mean, I know that they were not exactly the same color. darker color that I mixed the second time but now that that like MDF type product is sealed with the first coat this is going on a lot smoother over here I feel it with the brush like there's not as much drag because there's already a layer of paint there so oh I picked up a hair So I think there's a spot where like old glue or something is, like the paint is not sticking in this little spot very well. I don't know. I've just recovered. Can you see what I mean how it has like the red tone and then the other red tone and then it has the other red tone? Like that's not ideal. I feel like it should be matching more exactly or or it's a different contrast color like if it was black but I'm just I'm gonna go with this. I mean, it's not that I don't care, like, when, like, if you have client work, you would need to, um, you know, be more precise, but also, if you do have client work, part of the sales would be, you know, setting the expectation for, like, the design, and I'm not saying... <laughs> that I'm like the de a designer because that's not really as much like what I do because I'm saying I know that the red on red on red is not a good design but I didn't really have an other color that I it's hard to explain I mean also using like found materials like this box is from like a thrift store and we took out the old art supplies and put those in other storage and this red fabric i already had from before 
So it's also what do I have on hand that is suitable. And I have containers of these paint colors. And I can always change my mind and paint it a different color later. <laughs> Touch up this side as well. There's another, um, where is it? There's another rough spot out here. I don't know if I can turn this where you see it better, but it's like, this is like a, sp not splintery exactly, but like the edge was already had like a a ding and it was like fraying I guess fraying is like a better um just like what kind of the glue on. Okay, let me see. This is the top. Just like around the pole, I'm seeing a little bit of there. There might be like a, a spot where the other the wood the like the board is gonna show through when I put the fabric on. It's kind of looking if there's any spots I missed. Okay, paint. Which one is my paintbrush? I mean, not my paintbrush, I mean the glue brush.
This here might also um, be cut a little bigger than me. Because even though I'm like trying to wiggle this, you know, into the corners. to just mark getting covered, which is what I did the first time. Now, these particular scissors have um, non-stick coating, so I did get a little glue on them, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wash them, but they also, like you can cut tape with them. them right now but I'll wash the tools later.
guess it wasn't too much because I'm using up. I also dislike this type of board. It sucks up like so much when it's not sealed. was the top of the bottom. Where did I oh, just need a new piece of the roller? Yeah, this one I think needs to be trimmed as well. I mean, I did trace the shape, but that's the thing that the fabric has enough stretch to it that you can think that you cut something square or like draw a line on it. And it's like. It's just. Not exactly right. <laughs> Corner just needs a little, a little bit. have that bare board painted with a color that as it's drying looks like a reddish black 
that might be enough contrast. And I have the belts in. Oh, I see this one can use some trimming on the bottom. Do try something with these rough edges right up at the same same paper. There's just like these edges that have been scraped, but they're like now rough to the touch. I don't want to hurt myself on the top. I think it's like the edge where the like a picture of the wood has been like laminated on, but it's leaving a sharp edge. this wood filler. I'm just gonna, this is in a, uh, like a mahogany tone. I usually use like a plastic knife or something to get this out. This is um good filler, water-based wood filler. You when it gets dry, it will still work. You can re-add water to this, and I have done so before. 
this is a little bit of like a dry, putty consistency right now. I'm just trying to like get that that thing a little bit smooth out. I think there was one on the outside too. Because it is water based when you go when you come back later if you have uh, the towel flat you can just you can just wipe it back so I think I'm gonna just leave that to set up now um, but I'll probably do another another stream later or or tomorrow to um, to do the sewing part you know I might have to staple and sew this or it would actually be on this side now I have it turned around um, yeah but I'll do that in a, in a separate stream so I'm just gonna clean up the tools and stuff 